what is up guys welcome to the big unbox where we do that small tech and today i am back with another big unboxing for you with lg v40 and today we're back with the bodyguards extreme temper glass screen protector it's actually called the pure two screen protector to unbox do a quick review as always i'll throw up the link in the video description and pricing is going to be about yeah, 40 bucks or so depending on where you get it from so check around for the coupon codes and all if you do decide to get it online you should be able to get a decent coupon i believe this one is full adhesive but we'll check it out together guys and see if it's a hit or a miss for that v40 there was really not too many accessories out at this point we're starting to get them rolling in but i do have a few on pre-order so we'll check out when they start rolling in, I'll keep up the reviews for you guys. And if you have any suggestions, throw it up in the comment section. We'll get as many as we can. Bodyguards presentation is going to be premium enough. Got a Bodyguards logo. Extreme impact protection for the V40. They say free advantage, lifetime warranty. Definitely want to follow, you know, read the fine print on that. Pier 2. And it's definitely got one thing I really like about this brand is they usually come with this installation guide and it's very helpful putting on the screen protector. Extreme impact protection. And that's pretty much it in terms of presentation. Now we'll give the presentation a hit, but we'll check it out and see if the real deal is going to be a hit or miss for that V40. Again, there really hasn't been too many accessories released yet for it, which is kind of disappointing since the phones are released, but they're starting to roll in. So we got some pre-ordered. I think I got the uh, Tech 21 case coming. I got, I did get the OtterBox Defender coming, which I don't usually do that one because it's really a big, thick case. But we'll review it anyway. So this is the installation guide, the instructions. Definitely want to follow the instructions. Check out the actual replacements. Bodyguards.com slash register. And there's probably an actual, if you check this out, yeah, they got an installation video, which is very helpful to follow the instructions, do it right especially when you're spending that type of cash flow. For a screen protector, you definitely want to mess it up. So here's what you're getting inside. This is the usual suspects, as I say. You guys, your dust removal sticker. Look like these a lot. Keep that around. Keep comes in handy. Got your microfiber cloth, and they do it right with the microfiber cloth. It's got some nice weight to it. You got the branding right there, bodyguards. Put that to the side just to get, you know, anytime you want to give the phone a wipe down, keep this in your pocket. Wipe it down, wipe it down. And then you have your wet wipe. So we'll put that to the side. And then you got some stickers. We don't need those. We'll put those aside as well. Here is your installation tray. Comes in very handy. It makes the installation pretty much easy and foolproof. But obviously you still want to follow the instructions. Here's the tempered glass screw protector. Let's check this out together, guys. I thought this is full glue, but I don't think so. I'm actually seeing some micro dots on the middle. So I believe this one is not full glue, which is disappointing because I actually thought with that black border that this one, usually Bodyguards tries to do a, a full adhesive version, and this one does not appear to be. And I can't really tell why. I guess the screen is slightly curved, but it doesn't have that much curve to it. I can just kind of tell from the micro dots at a certain angle that it doesn't appear to be full adhesive. But here's the actual peel off one, and then obviously... Here's the actual screen protector itself. It's got a, a little slight curve to it. You can see just a little bit. So I guess that's the reason it's not full adhesive, but we'll check it out once I do the, read the instructions. So let me do this, guys. Put the video on pause and read the instructions. We'll finish up the installation. Hold tight, guys. Guys, I read the instructions. Good enough. We're going to go ahead and roll with it. So we're going to start out with the wet wipe. So what you want to do is take off the wet wipe packaging and give the screen a quick wipe down. Do this in front of some good lighting. That is my most important suggestion to you guys when you start this out. So do it in front of some direct lighting and then don't be afraid to give it a wipe it down, wipe it down, get the cracks, corners, even get up near that notch area with the speaker up top. Just get everything you can. Should get a nice layer of wetness. All right, so we'll put that to the side. Then what we'll do is take the microfiber cloth dry it off at that point most of the actual at least most of the stuff will come off the screen and then that finally what you want to do is use that dust removal sticker that gives you that final layer of dust removal let's put it that way so we'll just use one of them right now take it off like that and this actually is very handy i never used to use these but honestly guys these come in really really handy for the 
final presentation to get it very prepped, ready to go for the screen protector to be installed. Looks pretty good. So what we'll do is take the actual tray right here and the installation tray is very handy. Should line up just right. You can see right there, it's lining it up perfectly. It snaps in almost like a case itself. So then what I'll do is take another dust removal sticker and give it another wipe down just to make sure there's nothing we missed. Again, try to get near the notch area, all the corners as well. Looks pretty good. I see something I missed. Let's see. All right. Then kind of get a game plan how you're going to do the installation. What I always do, oh, see what happens right there. Look at that piece of dirt or that dust got on there real quick. So you just never know when it's going to pop on. So it's probably best to do this quicker than, you know, sooner than later. You know, once you actually have the dust removal sticker. But then kind of get a game plan how you're going to do the alignment. So then what I'll do is this, this is the first part. Peel off the adhesive. So this is going to be the first part. Looks like the second part. So what you want to do is line it up and then it should lay just like that. So we're going to take this off like that. And it's definitely not full adhesive. I can tell you that just from the actual feel of it which is disappointing like i said i thought it was gonna be full adhesive i guess like going to it expecting full adhesive you don't always get full glue but for that price point i like to see a little bit more full glue screen protectors so then it should line up just like that there we go then what you want to do is take the microfiber cloth Start from the middle, work your way out. Again, the glue is on the outside, so work your way from the middle. Get the air out of the middle first, and then work your way out to the outside. The seal part is on the outside, and then just basically your black borders right there, that's gonna be your glue. So that's gonna be what's adhering to the screen. There's nothing in the middle. So what you wanna do again, just get that inside out. At least that's how I do it looks pretty good hopefully take this off pop it out like that shake this out all right so honestly it does look good it's got a nice feel to it you can see the black border so it's not let me turn on the screen real quick let me let me put the video back on pause i'm gonna turn on the screen and then we'll check out and see if there's any light bleed and finish up the review guys hold tight all right guys, welcome back. So we got the Bodyguards Pure 2 installed. It was really easy to the installation. Again, shout out to Bodyguards because they provide that installation tray that makes the installation so much easier than a lot of the companies. So I gotta give them credit for that. This is a premium price, but you actually feel like it's a premium product. Now I can't say this is gonna be a big hit because of the lack of full adhesion, lack of full adhesive, lack of full glue, whatever you wanna call it. It's only got glue on the corners, top, bottom, so nothing in the middle. So it's always going to have that unnatural touch to it. It's kind of got more of a grayish tint to it as well. And then it, I find that these kind of collect more fingerprints and they get fingerprinted all up a lot more easily than the ones that have full glue. And that's just my personal opinion. But overall, I can't say too much bad about this one at this point. And it does have those black borders. So that's where the adhesive is on the sides, all the way around the notch area. It is close to being full edge to edge protection. It does have a really nice quality feel to it. Again, right there, you can see the notch area is covered up right there. Give you guys a different angles of how it actually looks. So they did a nice job with the cutout. They did a, It's very precise. I'll give them credit for that. And you shouldn't have any you shouldn't have any problems with any type of cases i wouldn't think because it does cut off very you know it's, it's pretty much close to the very edge but it cuts off just a little short so let's go and check this one out and see how it looks with the screen on so you can see the black borders it doesn't appear to be affecting any type of screen angles or anything like or viewing angles you can see how it kind of just cuts off so it doesn't appear to have any type of negative viewing points right there you can see the notch right there and there's not any type of light bleed which is definitely a positive as well because if it was really short you'd be seeing some light bleed and i think the black borders around it does help out help out with that a lot as well but the question is guys this is a hit or miss i would say if you can get this for a decent price point 30 bucks or so probably a hit probably a small hit because the price point is still going to be steep for what you're paying for 
But if you guys are needing a screen protector right away, I got this one pretty quickly. So I would say there's not too many accessories available at this point for the V30 or V40. So this one will probably be a mini hit in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Is it a hit? Is it a miss? Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time.